Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Jimbo. Um, and I just wanted to pop in and share something that I'm kind of, uh, again, as I document this journey and kind of go through this journey with my detailing podcast and just my whole life in general and how there's really no balance between like work and play and all that. It's kind of all intermingled together. And that's kind of what my current thought process is on this journey is uh, when it comes to Amazon, a lot of people say grow a brand and you know uh, leverage that brand to help drive sales for your private label products. And so what I'm currently conflicted on is do I leverage the brand that I've already built with the podcast and stick in the detailing niche to private label detailing niche products um, or do I venture out and create a whole separate brand? Um, do I create a whole separate brand around new products, whether they're in the detailing space or not in the detailing space? Um, so my my issue right now is I think I want to lean towards leveraging my current brand with the podcast, but I'm worried that it's going <clears> to <throat> open myself up to be get my more of my listings hijacked and ripped off if I share that I'm only sticking within the detailing niche and then try to leverage uh, kind of the following that I already have within that, that it opens myself up more to get my listings ripped off because that is kind of the holy grail of the whole Amazon thing is not really knowing what products people are offering. So let me know what you think in the, the show notes below. I just, I'm kind of... Uh, Again, just trying to document the process and kind of my thought, my thought process and my thought patterns behind this whole like blending your life together with that is so multifaceted and kind of how how you can really make everything work together. How can I blend the podcast and my detailing experience into the Amazon experience to make one big thing? You know, um, so. Again, just really trying to document the journey behind that, my thought process behind that. Um, and so, uh, yeah, so that's that's all I got. I think I really do want to leverage what I've you know built up with the podcast um, and the detailing side of things to maybe just start with detailing accessories because uh, I don't really want to get into liquids and all that uh, <clears throat> because I consult for a couple liquid companies, so I don't really want any conflict of interest on, on the liquid front. Um, but I, I, I'm more so thinking about detailing <clears throat> accessories. Uh, just give me your thoughts. I want feedback and input and thoughts on, on what you think uh, would be kind of a good route to go or maybe an idea or a thought that I've never even, I haven't even thought of before. Um, but that's kind of where I'm, I'm headed and I think um, obviously, I'm already selling products on Amazon, but most of them are just wholesale products. So, um, and so, a couple of them aren't even in the detailing space. I'm actually working on a really big one. I don't think I'm going to land it. Um, it's a really big niche, really popular niche, really great margins. Uh, but I can't. My connection to the the brand, my decision maker at that brand, is sagging on me a little bit. Um, so I, I actually don't think it's gonna work out, but the the product selling like a few hundred units a day with the potential you know uh, potential revenue of ten to twenty dollars per unit. I mean it's a ginormous thing, but I'm bugging the guy so much or the gal person, uh, and it's not in the detailing niche, and that's the problem with the detailing niche is that it's a niche which is good and great. But I'm just, I don't think I could get this side hustle. My goal is to get the side hustle up to $100,000 a year in 2017. Or are we in 2018? I think we're in 2017. So my goal is to get it up to $100,000 this year. Um, and I'm worried that I'm going to have to go outside the detailing niche to really make that happen. Uh, but then going outside the detailing niche to make that happen means I lose all my leverage that I've created in the detailing niche. So, uh, that's what I'm conflicted with. That's what I got going on right now. Again, just documenting the journey. So that's all I got for today.